let me move on to lesson number 3 where the lesson number 3 is based on the condition called vowels never come together so friends uh, this question this lesson number 3 is similar pattern that is how many ways the word can be arranged but they have given a condition that vowel should never come together so friends for these types of question there are many different ways to solve this right but my advice kindly don't learn any formulas and by learning lesson number one and by learning lesson number two is more than enough to crack this lesson number three question friends just understand a simple logic right i am saying that 500 students are there in a classroom friends just an example question right 500 students totally there are 500 students in a classroom and 100 students are failed friends listen carefully total 500 students i am saying that 100 students were failed and what about the past number of students everyone can say this right the past students will be 400 whether you have used any formula whether you think about any there is an any formula to calculate this no just a simple concept right total students minus under students then definitely 400 students will be passed apply the same logic here friends listen carefully in lesson number one we have learned how to find how many ways the total word can be arranged in lesson number two we have learned vowels always comes together but here in lesson number three they are talking about vowels never come together listen the concept friends we need to find how many ways this word mission can be arranged so that the vowel should not comes together friends listen carefully lesson number one right we have learned how many ways the word can be arranged i am talking about total number of ways the word can be arranged in lesson number two we have learned how many ways vowels can come together friends listen carefully how many ways vowels can come together right and here lesson number one we know that how many ways the total words can be arranged apply the logic here when we subtract the total how many ways the vowels comes together so that the resultant will be vowels never come together got the logic friends from the total number of ways if i subtract all the vowels comes together word then definitely the remaining word must be vowels never comes together right so let me apply the logic friends they have given a word mission and we need to find how many ways the word can be arranged that is the vowel should never come together lesson number one we have learned how many ways the word mission can be arranged that is we need to count how many letters are there right one two three four five six seven so we can write this as according to lesson number one we can write this as seven factorial so 7 factorial is the total number of ways the word mission can be arranged lesson number two vowels comes together right vowels comes together condition for this given word right they have given a word mission friends listen carefully mission right i hope that you have watched my lesson number two right mission so they have a, we, we need to find how many ways the word can be arranged where this vowel should comes together we need to pick all the vowels that is a i e so place it inside a bracket at the right hand side write the consonant here that is m c h n these are the consonants and here is the vowels right and see how many space are there so one two three four five so in this five ways we can place a i e that is five factorial and this a i e can be written as e i a or i a e so this can be written as three factorial so friends finally we know that how many ways the total word can be arranged and here we know that 5 factorial into 3 factorial how many ways the word can be arranged that is vowels comes together but our target to find how many ways the vowels never come together so the final answer will be 7 factorial minus 5 factorial into 3 factorial got the logic friends from the total we are just eliminating all the vowels comes together so the resultant answer will be vowels can never come together right so friends i think you everyone can uh, easily calculate that is about is on factorial then three factorial will be six five factorial will be 120 so 120 into six will be 720 we need to subtract it and we need to get the answer so this is the logic of this question right let me move on to another example friends let me take another example that okay so be optical So similarly they were asking us to calculate how many ways the word can be arranged that the vowel should never come together listen carefully friends first of all we can see how many total ways the given word can be arranged so one two three four five six seven again seven factorial is the total number of ways uh, i think the word optical can be arranged according to lesson number one 
lesson number two how many ways the word can be arranged that the vowel should always comes together right see what all the vowels are there o i a so these are the three vowels so just place o i a inside a bracket at the right hand side and, the, and write the remaining consonants the consonants are p t c l see how many gaps are there one two three four five so the five factorial here are the three vowels that can be arranged in three factorial ways so again the same answer right so answer will be 5 factorial minus 3 factorial so from the total when we subtract vowels comes together the resultant will be vowels never come together so the answer will be 7 factorial minus 5 factorial into 3 factorial friends listen carefully in the first question and also in the second question there is a no letter repeated in the question right optical we can see only one time a one time i in similarly when we uh, saw in the first question that is mission where again m one time n one time so let me take any other example so that uh, two times a letter is repeated right uh, see right well we can take a sister okay a sister so friends similarly they are asking how many ways the word can be arranged so that the vowel should never come together you know that according to lesson number one first of all we should see how many ways the word can be arranged so one two three four five six so six factorial friends listen carefully in the previous case there is no repeated letters but in this case where we can see two times s so divided by two factorial so this is the total number of ways where the word sister can be arranged according to lesson number two vowel should comes together just see what are all the vowels are there sister and uh, I can say that I and E are vowel, so place it inside the bracket at the right hand side and write the remaining consonants friends. So S, S, T, R. Just see how many gaps are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 factorial and there are 2 vowels. 2 factorial. Friends listen carefully. 2 times S is repeat. So 2 factorial. So friends this can be written as 5 factorial into 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial. So friends listen carefully. This 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial is total number of ways where the word sister can be arranged. And here 5 factorial into 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial is the result and that vowels always comes together. But our target we need to find vowels never come together. So let me subtract both the values that is 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial minus of 5 factorial into 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial. So finally we got the answer that vowels never come together. So let me move on to another interesting example friends right. So let me take any other example. Uh, okay. Let me take another example right. Uh, okay. Oration. Okay. Let me take this example as corporation and similarly they are asking that condition vowel should never come together. Apply the same logic according to lesson number one we know that how many ways the total word can be arranged. Count how many letters are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 factorial and see any other letters are repeated friends. 2 times R is repeated divided by 2 factorial and uh, See here friends, 1, 2, 3, 3 times O is repeated, so divided by 3 factorial. So finally we got the answer as 11 factorial divided by 2 factorial, 3 factorial, right? So friends, we know that this is the total number of ways where the word corporation can be arranged according to lesson number 2. What about lesson number 2 friends? We need to find how many ways the vowel should always come together, right? So corporation, so just see what are all the vowels are there, O, O, A, I, O. So just place it inside a bracket. And write the remaining consonants friends c r p r t n right just see how many space are there one two three four five six seven so seven factorial and we know that one two three four five so five vowels are there five factorial divided by uh, there are two r repeated two factorial and there are three times o is repeated three factorial so friends seven factorial into five factorial divided by two factorial into three factorial we know that this is for vowels always comes together and this is the total number of ways the word can be arranged when we subtract both the answer so finally we got the condition that vowels never together so the, I, I hope that this is the easiest logic where you can solve this question easily so friends similarly if they ask uh, what about consonants never come together you know the logic right according to lesson number one we know that how to find vowels comes together how to find consonants comes together how to find some letters come some of the letters that a t they were they used to give some letters and we know that how to find that ways so similarly if they ask consonants never come together you need to place a consonant that at the right hand side inside the bracket right so apply the same logic so that you can easily get an answer for this lesson number three so let me move on to lesson number four